Hey everybody, it's JH, 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 1983 coming at you with a quick little uh, video here on how to make easy money in Skyrim. Uh, there are several different tricks to doing this. Um, this one I found to be the easiest as well as uh, the one that actually makes the most money, the most efficient. Um, it's going to be using your enchanting skill as well as your smithing skill. <coughs> You see here, enchanting right here. I haven't put any perks into it yet. Um, and then your smithing skill right here. Uh, this will help you make better armor as well by doing this to make yourself money. You're also going to improve your smithing skill. Now, what you do is you start off in uh, Windhelm, and that's right up here in the northeast portion of the map. Um, you start the game off in Helgen, which is down here. You just travel up to Riverwood, up to White Run, around the mountain, follow the river path, and it will lead you up here to Windhelm. Uh, when you fast travel here, if you choose that path, you start off right here. So you just head to the left from the main gate. <clears throat> and the reason I choose Windhelm is because you can get to both a blacksmith and an enchanter without having to go in and out of doors, so you don't have to deal with load screens. Um, First of all, you're going to have to have some uh, iron ore, or buy iron ingots if you prefer. You just go here and you smelt your ore into the iron ingots, <clears throat> as many as you choose. Um, you're also going to have to have some hides from animals that you've killed. So you go up to the tanning rack, we'll boot this guy out of here. Get out of the way, fool. Yeah, my turn. Now I'm going to turn these silent. hides into leather. And then turn the leather all into strips because to make this iron dagger you need one iron ore or one iron ingot and one leather strips. So it's the easiest item to make as far as smithing goes. You can make it right from the start. It doesn't matter what skill your smith level is. You'll always be able to make iron daggers. So you go in here and you just make a bunch of these. You can see my smithing skill is going up as I'm doing that. <clears throat> now take them and walk right over here, right to the back, around behind these shops, you'll see an arcane enchanter. Now this is where you use soul gems that you uh, have to purchase and you fill with either soul trap or uh, a weapon that you've enchanted with soul trap, any weapon um, that you have, have conjured if you bought the perk for soul trap will also do the trick. But you have to have souls trapped in, in some soul gems to do this. Now, you're going to take those iron daggers I just made. You select it. Then you're going to select the enchant Banish. Banish Deidre. Now, the way you get this is any weapon that says of annihilating, of banishing, or of expelling. It doesn't matter if it's an axe or a dagger or a sword, it just has to say of annihilating, and it will say summon Deidre up to a certain level are sent back to oblivion. Um, so that's the one you need, and you disenchant it up here. It will, it'll be listed light like this, and you hit it, it disenchants it, and you then learn that enchantment. So you select the Iron Dagger, select Banish Deidre, and you can see the price pops up right away. $1,922 value. Now, depending on what kind of a soul gem you choose, the value is going to increase or decrease. Now, with petty soul gems, you have the capability of making a dagger that will sell for up to $2,000 if you have the correct perks. So I always use petty soul gems for this. So I craft it, and then I just select it and repeat the process. So I'm going to do that with all these real quick. I actually find that I do it at about summon Deidre up to level 7 with a Petty Soul Gem because otherwise they sell for too much money and you just have an inventory full of daggers. If you do it this way, they'll sell for between four and $700. If you want to leave it up all the way, that's your choice. But it's hard to find people to sell it to that have enough money. You'll have to travel to all the different shops to sell these daggers. But if you're trying to grind for money, especially for that $100,000 achievement and trophy. Uh, this is the easiest way to do that. 
So now that I have my daggers made and enchanted, I'm going to go back to this gentleman right here. And I'll sell them, and I'll show you how much money we can make off of these. I started off, I have $29,252 right now. I go to my iron daggers down here. 589, 370, 589, 589. I mean, they they sell for good money, so I sell these, and he actually only has enough money for me to sell two of them to him. But uh, you just go to the various shop vendors and sell these daggers, and that'll increase your speech skill as well as give you money to to do whatever you want with. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I'm also going to make some future videos. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and drop me a comment. Uh, it can be for any skill you might want to learn, maybe exploits to help level them up faster. Uh, whatever you need, just leave me a comment and I'll try to make a video for you. Thanks for watching.